What's up, y'all? Turn this heat on. Uh, we got another video today. Uh, what we gonna do today? My first review, man. I'm a little excited, man. My first review is gonna be a, a Dodge Charger RT. Um, I think it's a 2011. Um, but anyway, uh, one of my right hand men, uh, he just got one, uh, I guess like two, three weeks ago now. And I asked him, I'm like, yeah, man, let me just go ahead and, uh, let me review that joint, man. Um, so he said, yeah, all right, cool. So we're going to do that today. My man, Sam, right hand man, big bro. So, um. We got that coming. Uh, basically, we gonna meet up in a little bit. I'm gonna do a walk around, it's a red. Um, he just got them hater blockers on there, so it should look a little better. Um, red drink, I think it's a five spoke, five spoke wheel. Uh, but walk around, ask him how he like it so far. Um, then do a quick a quick run and then I'm gonna do a review on it. Um I'm also I'm still working on the 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 cards um so I can hand out eggs and dudes with nice whips. Um if they'll let me review their joint. I'ma also do that to um the dealership so I'm still waiting on the cards. Um so uh yeah that's it we're gonna head there in a minute they gonna do this review uh, see what y'all think. All right, what's up, YouTube? As you can see, we got the RT charger right there. Red, right next to that 300. Hemi Jump 2011. We got a, a quick review today. Um, right here, just came back. He ain't want litter. We got Sam right here, bro. All right, so um, since you had the car, first of all, how long you had the car, Sam? I only had it for like three weeks now. Yeah, that's what I said on the, you were seeing on the other video. I said about two, three weeks. All right, so, oh shit, 5.0. You might can't see it. Nah, I can't. Nah, you can't see it. It was a 5.0 though. But um, so tell me um a few things you like about it and a few things that you don't like it. Don't like if anything. What I like about it is it's fast. It's okay. red. Hit me, you know hit me. Yeah, it got the hit me in it. I ain't never had a car this fast before, so okay. Definitely fucking with that. Uh. It ain't nothing I don't like about it. Not yet, at least. Yeah, not yet. Like not yet. Long enough. Not yet. I, I had I had a, a Charger, a 300. This is my second 300. He ain't, not yet. He ain't had it long enough yet. <laughs> but he, eventually he'll find one thing. But all right, we're going to do a quick walk around. I know we're going to walk around. and Dodge basically the same company. Well, it is the same company. Ain't really no basic, but the same company. So a lot of the stuff is the same. It's a, a five speed, mine's a five speed. Uh, one of the few differences in the 300 Hemi and the Charger Hemi though, is uh, mine's is 363 horsepower and the Charger is 370. So, they were just tuned a little differently um, for whatever reason, I don't know. But I like this spoiler too. 
see how mine is. I'm gonna flush this one, lift it. Now we're gonna hop on the inside. Pay a contrast a little bit, probably. Mine's in this one. Then we do a quick, uh, a quick, um, drive along, ride along, whatever you want to call it. Alright, we, we now we sitting in there. Um, I wanted to start it right here just to show you a. I guess this goes back to what Chrysler and, and Dodge wanted to do. Um, I guess with the, with it being the same engine, they wanted uh, Chrysler to be more the luxury and the, the charger to be more the performance or the uh, muscle car or aggressive look. So I just wanted to show the, the differences in how this dash look, the speedometer, and mine. So, um, so this one do do look a little bit more aggressive um, compared to mine's. Uh, but all of this is basically the same. My car got all of this same thing. Go through the temperatures, tires. Trip info, vehicle speed, fuel economy, all that. And this 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 got sixty eight thousand miles. And then the U Connect, same thing. Just the font, a little bit different. That's about it. Heated seats. This one got the sunroof like mine. So for mine got the panoramic pano. Then these seats, these look like the uh, kind of like what they doing in the um, the scat packs a lot these days. They got the uh, two tone leather and suede. I like these seats actually better than mine. Mine's all full level. But back then, same thing, same difference. All of this is the same. Um, he actually got cool and he the cup holders though. So not fucking one. Um, these that, that comes standing on the SRT8s though. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm actually jealous about that shit right there. Pretty much everything in his is, is in the same. We gonna pop the pop the hood just for formality, even though it's the same 5.8 I got. So we'll take a look at that. See right here, he got the Alpine. You know I got beats. Test drive, just so I can see the differences. See if that seven horsepower is making any difference in the field. Um, so yeah, we gonna get to that. All right, we probably go ahead and get to this. Uh, this test drive. I didn't know how to turn this shit over. This shit hotter than mine. You got jealous. <sighs> All right, we going. He ain't in here. He got the kitties with him. You know what I'm saying? So we sitting in that that luxurious 300 that that feel like you went something else. You know what I'm saying? That blue accent light everywhere. But um, we gonna go ahead and get 
this started, I'm gonna do like a quick two pulls and we'll see how it goes. Already, it joint feel a little bit jumpy. I guess I do feel that seven horsepower. But no, I feel, feel like it's a little bit more uh, responsive uh, just for me leaving from out of pot. I ain't been one of these since um, I had my scat, man. Yeah, it do feel a little bit more responsive. Another difference in the, uh, in the, in the dashes, the digital speed in the middle is a different font. A little bit more bold and, and bigger. See, I got on my seatbelt. Y'all know I don't wear them, but this ain't my car, so we gotta be safe. You know what I'm saying? We gotta be safe. Oh man, I got he didn't see a ghost. Know a few little pass we could we can hit real quick. Uh, get a few good pulls. Drink feel good though. It actually feels a little different than mine does. I don't know why, but they do. Suspension actually actually feels more close to mine. It could be the same suspension for this year. I, I'm not sure. This is a 2011, so <coughs> we gonna see though. We gonna see. One thing I did notice though, I don't see so far, I don't see no sport. I don't see no sport, but you know, mine's got sport. It controls sport right there. Do got the shiftable automatic though. I don't see no sport, but. Well, maybe the screen, but I'm the eye. Take that back. Oh, it got the. Um, Blind spot monitor though. Man, this man got some options. I ain't even know about. He probably didn't even know about. Mine don't got that either. But uh, I had a I had like a nice little bump in the road when I, I heard it in the interior. So I think mine's is a little bit more uh, subtle or quieter. Uh, probably just got something to do with the dampening. It kind of lags a little bit compared to mine. Mine actually feels more responsive when I gave it some actual gas. Not sure what that has anything to do with how it's tuned or what, but these uh, do have seven more horsepower, which I think is pretty insignificant, but. Right now, I would say it feels like 70, 70 or sixty percent of the same car as mine. And no, this is not a comparison video, but you know what I'm saying. I do like Hemi, so I wanted to do this, do the review on this, and I'm just using my car as reference because I had this car. Well, I didn't have this car, but I had the Charger, and now I got the same engine as, as this RT. So just an easy, easy reference video as well, even though it's just a review. Keep referencing my 300 just to compare and contrast. Alright, turn around in a minute. Get a nice pull, going back the other way. Yeah, it's 
not really, on these bumps, it's not really soft as mine is with, uh, on the bumps and the, the, the roads. But on low speeds, it feels the same. It actually might even feel a little better. be so many damn cars on Saturday, man, like, man, I thought most people work Monday through Friday, there's only two weekend days, like, people be going to work, like, right? and they be in a rush, too. I don't know what you prefer, but I already got two Hemis on my page now. This will make a third, you know what I'm saying? So you pick your poison, man, you know what I'm saying? You pick your poison. Traffic in the city, man, be crazy, man. Can they ain't turn around and shit? some good sound dampening though on like other people's uh like i can't really hear other people's music and stuff even when it's live that felt good right there Right, I'm gonna I'm tap it. I'm gonna hit it all the way down real quick, and we're gonna see. Com compare. I'm sorry, I keep comparing because it's not a compare and contrast video, but that's the first thing that come in my head. Like, how does mine feel compared to this? So I'm gonna hit it real. I'm gonna floor it real quick, and just to see what it does. So it, 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 hey, it was ready to move. I'm telling you. It was there. It definitely was there. Come on, cuckoos. Man, it sound like this nigga got a body in the back, bro. That's that kid stuff, man. Got the kitty stuff in there. I, I definitely, uh, I can see why he got that, man. Quick little funny story. He was about to get a new car. He was telling me, yeah, I might get a Challenger, a Honda Cool Coupe. And I'm like, man, yeah, they do look sweet, but man. I, I don't know about that, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he going to say it, but I kind of think, like, my Mopar influence, without really even trying to influence him, had something to do with that. You know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there. He got the RT. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I congratulated him. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Mopar Club. And that's that. From the factory, this one, he don't have uh, any 
anything done to the exhaust like I do. Uh, but his his exhaust actually sound louder than my stock exhaust did. So I guess and that's something with the uh, tuning from the factory as well. So, <clears throat> but like these bumps I'm going over now, here's a little bit more uh, edgy than mine's. I guess that's a good word. at very low speeds, like parking lots, it feels exactly the same as my 300. I know this ain't no, uh, no typical uh, test drive video. Usually the own them right there and we can talk and, you know what I'm saying, but hey, maybe I'm breaking burgers, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this would be how, how uh, car reviews would be, test drives would be. I don't wanna get the fuck out of here. It's like, nah. <laughs> but, um. Oh, yeah. Feel, feel pretty good. Feels pretty good. It feels like a Hemi. Do you hear me? Yeah, I think, I think it was, um. I don't know if I could really feel that seven, that seven horsepower, but. You know you're not in a V6. I I keep it like I I keep it at that. I keep it at that. It'd be interesting. Um, we were talking about um, uh, exhaust, and I was telling him the different options he could do. It'd be interesting to see if he actually do go with the exhaust, um, and then hear the sound compared to mine. So there might be another video coming if if he do decide to the the to, to get the exhaust done. I want my uh, if he want mine, let me shoot again so we can compare and contrast that. Yeah, it got it got it got some kick. That hit me saying, "Do you hear me? It's Mr. Hit me. Do you hear me?" But yeah. The cars, but man, it's just, I think it's the same platform. Like I said, Dodge is Chrysler, makes Dodge. It's all one big happy family. Um, I think they did tune this one differently for a different body. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who wants something a little bit more out in your face um, than the 300. But I wouldn't mind having this. You know what I'm saying? His actually got features that I wish I had. Blind spot monitoring, heated cup, cool cup holders. I wanted that, you know what I'm saying? I think only on the 300 Cs and the SRTA they got that though. Um, but yeah, I think we got a few nice pulls. <laughs> we got a few nice pulls, and I, man. Hopefully this video helped you out. Um, maybe you might want to buy it, or maybe out the hand me comparing contrast uh, mines and this one. It, it might help you uh, decide what you want to go with if you was looking for a Hemi, a Mopar. Um, I think the 300s, same year, engine size, they're around the same price. Be It probably just depends on the options. Um, basically, same miles per gallon at the, at the pump. Um, yeah, it, it's kind of like just pick which one you like as far as appearance wise, you know what I'm saying? Um, and rather you more subtle or you more like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But even though I, in all respect, I think mine's is a little bit more subtle, I got the exhaust done, so you might see his first, but you gonna hit mine's first. So it all depends, you know what I'm saying? It depends on what you want. The 300 wasn't loud enough for me, and it gotta hit me. If I ain't want nobody to hit me, I got a V6. But um, we're gonna wrap this video up. Till next time, people. Appreciate y'all.